Okay, so this is the XT DI2 system assembled on the floor, not on the bike yet. It's just kind of checking it out while I think about mounting options on the bike. So this is the shifter. Wire goes to the display. This could also be a, just a smaller junction box if you don't care about the display. Wire goes to this little junction box, which is basically just has four ports, four wires. The battery goes into one of those, and then another one goes to the rear mech. Um, so if I actually shift, see the rear mech moving. Up shift, and you can hold it down, does that. And it looks like the app for this is out as well, so that's the next thing I'm going to do is try to connect to that app. And yeah, really none of this was hard. They give you a special tool, this thing, to kind of push in the wires so you don't bend them. And this thing pulls them out into little ports. But this is actually pretty easy. I do not consider myself super mechanically inclined, and this was not that hard. Um, I guess probably the challenging part is going to be like feeding wires to your frame. Um, and then for me, if your bike isn't like DI2 ready or you don't have room in your seat tube, it's going to be like finding a mount for this. I'm still going to try to avoid using that water bottle mount due to, to weight and aesthetics. So I'm not sure. I'll have to kind of figure out where I can put this and then the junction box. I think like these two things um, need to find a home. The others have an obvious home. Rear Mac installs like any other rear Mac. Shifter, of course, just goes on your handlebars where your shifter goes. Display is going to go like in the center of your bars near your stem. So that stuff's all obvious. It's really like where to put these guys, especially when you don't have room in your seat tube and you don't want to use one of their, one of their water bottle mounts.